Well, 20 years ago today, hundreds of uncremated bodies were discovered near a crematorium in Noble, Georgia. And two decades later, many still remember the scandal that brought international attention to Walker County. Here's the story. On the afternoon of February 15, 2002, the Walker County Sheriff's Department was called to Tri-State Cemetery in Noble, Georgia. What they found was shocking. Throughout the next six weeks, uh, approximately 339 bodies uh, were located and discovered there on the property of the Tri-State Crematory. The bodies found on the property were left uncremated and in some cases unidentified. To this day, it's not entirely clear why Ray Brent Marsh, the operator of the facility, did not cremate the remains. That question has never been answered. Uh, the Tri-State Crematory was an operation, a business that had been um, in the business of cremating remains uh, primarily for funeral homes in the southeastern United States, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, uh, for a number of years. The bodies recovered 20 years ago now reside here at the Tennessee, Georgia Memorial Park Cemetery. Ray Brent Marsh was sentenced to 12 years in prison for the neglect of the bodies, a sentence which he has since served and been released from. Marsh has re-entered the community and is said to be doing well. I've seen him, spoke to him, and uh, I think he uh, has done his time and is ready to get on with his life and uh, uh, you know do what he wishes to do in our community. In Walker County, Georgia, Chris Skewen, News 12 Now. Drug overdose deaths are leading headlines again as Chattanooga police release startling numbers about local deaths. Police are reporting 10 drug overdose deaths in the scenic city in just the past two weeks alone. They are attributing this increase to the use of fentanyl that illegal drug manufacturers are putting into everyday drugs. Fentanyl is 100 times more potent than morphine. It's part of an overall nationwide trend that we're still seeing uh, with overdose deaths and, and fentanyl being related uh, to those. And Chattanooga is no different. It's just we've seen quite a spike uh, in the last week and a half. If you or someone you know is struggling with drug addiction, police urge you to reach out to the Hamilton County Coalition. We'll have more on the story tonight on Prime News at 7. Local firefighters were busy again this morning battling a house fire for the third straight day in Hamilton County. This happened at a home on Palmar Drive in Red Bank around 715 this morning. When firefighters got there, flames were coming through the roof. One team searched the inside of the home, but they didn't find anybody there. Second team managed to knock that fire down around the chimney and attic area. No word yet what caused the fire and the investigation continues. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation has issued a silver alert for a 72-year-old Polk County man. Daryl Foster was last seen on February 5th in Whitfield County, Georgia. He has a medical condition that may impair his ability to return home safely. Foster might be driving a 2001 white Dodge Ram. If you've seen Daryl or his truck, contact the Polk County Sheriff's Office or the TBI. Having a roof over your head has always been considered a blessing, but it's all the better when that roof is brand new. News 12's Jordan Simmel has more on an amazing gift that a Cleveland woman received from a local group on social media. Behind me is just another example of Clevelanders helping Clevelanders as one of the city's local companies came to the aid of one of its longest tenured residents. Alex Rivera and his men got to work early installing a brand new roof on the home of 90-year-old Margaret Lehman a member of the Cleveland community for more than 70 years. The cost? Absolutely nothing. The roof was installed completely free of charge. I inspected the, the roof and she definitely needed, needed a brand new roof on her home. The granites on all the, the shingles were totally gone. There were some pieces of the shingles missing from being so fragile and, uh, and the wind hitting them. Rivera volunteered Rivco's services to the local Facebook group What's Happening in Cleveland, Tennessee, an online community dedicated to kindness and neighborliness with a seeming obsession to give back anything to better the lives of locals in need. We give away everything from, you know, dinner for two for Valentine's Day to we gave away a car for a needy family. We gave away a, a year's worth of health care to a needy family <laughs> through a local health care provider. A new roof can now be added to the group's extensive list. 
Lehman became the community's latest giveaway winner after her daughter-in-law submitted her name online in a pool of thousands. The longtime resident said it was nothing short of a blessing. I appreciate them out there. I really do because I would have never been able to put another roof on it. Mrs. Lehman is incredibly grateful for Rivco and the new roof and said that when the time is right, she's getting her grandson to help her build a porch. From Cleveland, Tennessee, Jordan Simmel, News 12 Now. Now, from the EPB Fiber Optics Weather Center, your Storm Team 12 AccuWeather 24-hour forecast. It's been nothing but sunshine the last couple of days. No exception today, but we'll throw a few more clouds in the mix for tomorrow, and that's going to be ahead of our next cold front that will be bringing us some rain and potentially some thunderstorms come Thursday evening. But first, a live look outside right now. A beautiful sunset from our Island Cup Marina and Resort camera. Temperatures are beginning to cool down. 61 degrees still have a southerly breeze out there thanks to a warm front that has passed about 7 degrees warmer than this time yesterday here in Chattanooga 13 in Knoxville, but 17 over in Nashville. Most of us right now sitting in the 50s and 60s, 58 in Knoxville and 65 right now over in Nashville. For the rest of your evening, it will be mild and pleasant 9 p.m. 49 degrees and will drop down to lows, not nearly as cold, but it will still be cool outside waking up right near 40 degrees. All more you can expect over the next couple of days coming up after the break. All thank you so much, Double B. Still ahead, Dina Spradlin has a formula for making math class more fun at Dalton Academy. And her students are much happier for it. See what innovation she's factored in in tonight's Golden Apple Award. The Sportsman's Forecaster is brought to you by Island Cove Outdoor Center, your authorized Tracker Boats dealer. Five out of five stars in customer satisfaction is one reason more and more people choose Village Volkswagen. From certified pre-owned to a wide variety of quality inspected cars, trucks, SUVs, and crossovers, no one will work harder to win your business than Village VW. People stop in at Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds for a variety of reasons. Some stop in because Rick pays the most for their scrap gold and unused jewelry. Some come in to invest in bullion, and there are those who just simply want to look around our tremendous selection in the showroom. Whatever your reason for coming by Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, we just want to say thank you, and we look forward to serving you again real soon. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, 5301 Brainerd Road. Whether you're indoors or outdoors, whether you have a little problem or a big one, your power needs to work. Call Mr. Electric day or night to make things right. We're Mr. Electric. We have the power to make things better. On the outside, this may look like just another piece of furniture. But understanding the craftsmanship that goes into the hundreds of individual parts, that tells the real story. At Kincaid, we start with solid wood, use proven construction techniques, and deliver honest value every piece, every time. Right now, save 25% on Kincaid at EF Brandon Furniture, Highway 153 across from Northgate. Kincaid, it's not a purchase. It's a promise. The 48th Annual Houston Museum Antique Show and Sale, February 25th through the 27th. The 55th Annual Tri-State Home Show, February 25th to 27th. HomeshowChattanooga.com. Five out of five stars in customer satisfaction is one reason more and more people choose Village Volkswagen. From certified pre-owned to a wide variety of quality inspected cars, trucks, SUVs, and crossovers, no one will work harder to win your business than Village VW. Brought to you by Johnson Audiology. Don't miss another sound. Don't miss another opportunity. Now, from the EPB Fiber Optics Weather Center, your Storm Team 12 AccuWeather Forecast. For our window works, the weather window of the day, today's photo is from City Park Elementary trip to the Creative Arts Guild where they have that outdoor sculpture garden. A perfect day to be outside. Thank you for sending that in. If you guys have any pictures that you would like to share with us, they can be featured on our morning and evening newscast. You can email them at pictures at WDF.com or send us a message through Facebook. Well, today started off on a cold note, 28, but we warmed up to a high of 64 
degrees, about eight degrees warmer than the typical average for this year of 56. And we saw more wall to wall sunshine for the day. This was courtesy of Plainview and EPB fiber optics weather chem network. So on the bus stop forecast for tomorrow again, won't be nearly as cold, but still will be cool lower 40s. And by the time you're heading home, we'll see an increase in cloud cover, but we'll still keep those warmer temperatures likely in the low to mid 60s. Now on our future cast Thursday morning due to the clouds and that strong southerly breeze will start off in the lower 50s. So very mild isolated showers possible throughout your day. It's not going to be much. Now as we head through the late afternoon and evening, once we get that cold front a little bit closer to us, rain will start to move in after 5 6 p.m. turning widespread around 9 10 p.m. Pockets of heavy rain possible that moves off right after midnight will dry out by Friday morning, but as you can see, temperatures will start to fall off quickly around 7 a.m. We'll be waking up low to mid 30. So it'll be a cold start to Friday, followed by a chilly afternoon. Now we are under a severe weather outlook for Thursday, but the main risk is going to be in this yellow color. A slight risk, including Memphis, Jackson, Little Rock. Here locally, we are under that level one isolated risk. A main concern with that is going to be flooding, damaging winds, and hail possible. Timing with this is going to be around 5 p.m. to just after midnight. In addition, we are under an excessive rainfall outlook. Slight color in this yellow color, and that's mainly I-75 eastward, where we could pick up around one to two inches of rainfall and this will be coming at a heavy rate. So that's why we could see a few areas of localized flooding. So if you haven't already, now would be a great time to download our free News 12 Now app. We'll give you the latest on any watches, warnings or advisories here. So Thursday, high temperatures will be soaring into the lower 70s. It's going to be a very spring like setup. So while we do have the chance for a few thunderstorms, it's going to be on the lower end risk. 24 hour temperature change, lots warmer than this time yesterday. Again, most of us sitting mild and pleasant in the 60s and 50s. And on our 10 day temperature outlook, confidence is pretty high as we head into the second half of February. We will see above average temperatures and also trending just a little bit wetter than normal as well. Stay with us. All of that seven day forecast for you coming up in just 10 seconds. When your message is important and it needs to be seen, put it in plain view. Plain view outdoor advertising. Get their attention today at plainviewoutdoor.com. From the EPB Fiber Optics Weather Center, here is your seven day forecast. So we're still expecting to be dry for Wednesday with increasing clouds and breezy winds from the south. Thursday, we'll see those conditions as well, but with rain and thunderstorms towards the evening and night. But we dry out by Friday a lot cooler for the afternoon. Compare 71 to a high of 49 on Friday, but we'll be on the warm up this next weekend as we get some more sunshine, guys. Thank you so much, Becca. Well, coming up on Prime News and tonight's Health Watch, health experts explain why they're concerned about the low number of people getting booster shots as more states lift mask mandate. And the family of the cinematographer killed on the Russ movie set has filed a lawsuit. We'll have the details. Join us for Prime News at 7. Tiramisu. Ooh, tiramisu. Or save up and eat tiramisu in Little Italy. The lights of Broadway. Wait, did I pay the light bill? Tiramisu. Regions convenient new ways to track your transactions, make it easier to get back to the moment. Chattanooga Funeral Home, Crematory, and Florist will waive all interment fees when any Chattanooga Funeral Home is selected, either at need or pre-need. A savings of up to $1,895. For more information, call now. Hey guys, I'm Chuck Miller from Speedy's Hickson Transmission, Speedy's East Trace Transmission, and Speedy's Oil and Auto, and welcome to this segment of Under the Hood. Today we're going to talk about some things you can check before you go on a trip so that you don't get broke down on the way. Before you start your car up in the morning, first thing you want to do is just fill the hoses and make sure they're soft and pliable and not hard. If you spring a leak or one bust while you're traveling, you're going to be broke down on the side of the road. When you're checking your serpentine belt, a couple things you want to look for. Make sure it's not drive rotted or cracked. Make sure the sides of it are not wearing and the back of it looks smooth. On the newer model cars, the belt's made of a different type of rubber, so you will actually need a tool. It's fairly simple. You put the tool in the belt and make sure there's no side to side motion and lay it in the ribs and make sure it's above the ribs itself. These are just a few things that you can check to make sure that your trip is safe and trouble free. If you need help with any of this, come see us. We'll be glad to help and thank you for watching Under the Hood.
Here at Rico Monuments, we have handcrafted thousands of memorials for over 30 years, each individually carved by our experienced master engravers. Whether you choose granite, marble, bronze, or a mausoleum, each piece is custom engraved with a remarkable level of craftsmanship we have become known for. With three generations of Ricos in the business, we are qualified and ready to serve you. Visit our gallery on our website or come by the office anytime during business hours. You don't have to go to the doctor in person. Chattanooga Family Practice offers telehealth. Talk with one of our providers and get the care you need from the comfort of your own home. Viewer's Choice winner of Best Family Practice. Chattanooga Family Practice, committed to our community. A girl. Daddy's girl. Can I get that girl a pony? Quinceanera. Destination wedding. Oh. It's a girl! Regions makes it easier to get back to the moment. You're watching News 12 now at 6. Your news now. Well, who says that math class has to be dry as toast? What if you could write the equations right on your desk? How about a comfy couch for when you finish your work? Well, those are just two of the variables that helped Dalton Academy's Dina Spradlin earn tonight's Golden Apple Award. This week's Golden Apple Teacher is brought to you by Food City. What are you doing? Miss Spradlin, on behalf of Food City and News 12, I would like to present you with this week's Golden Apple oh, Teacher Award. Oh, my goodness, look at this. Miss Spradlin uh, is just such a, a wonderful, compassionate uh, educator who really cares uh, for the best interests of her students. Um, she, you know, not only does she teach the material, but she really makes it relevant. You on your desk, I want you to work this, and somebody's going to come reveal the answer. I'm an educator. I've been that for many, many years. 34. I'm a mama. I have two kids, smart kids, one of them's a teacher and the other one's still in college so they value that education. I'm a wife of a wonderful, godly, moral man and I love coming here every day. I look forward to my days at the Dalton Academy. She makes class really fun uh, and she's always someone you can go and talk to. She makes learning really fun and she explains it to where it's easier to work out. She doesn't put up with like, you know, all that, st all that horseplay, you know what I mean? Like, she doesn't joke around, but she has enough leniency to make it fun. And she got the couch. I mean, <laughs> you really can't go wrong with, that, like, a good day of math, and then you just go sit on the couch, you know, go on your phone. It's perfect, you know? Why teach? Well, I think you saw it in the classroom. <laughs> well, you teach because we have kids on couches where you get to ride on desk. I get to make a difference. I get to, to help them. Some days they don't need the math as much as they just need maybe for me to hug on them. Some days I might need that encouragement from them. They say, oh, you look cute. Or Devin gave me a new word about some pair of pants I had on. I don't even remember what it was, Devin. Just that, that kind of the relationships, the relationships. The math will come for some better, for some not as good. But it'll, it'll work out. But this relationship and the love of these kids, that's, that's what it's about. Congratulations, Ms. What a wonderful teacher. If you'd like to nominate a special teacher for the Golden Apple Award, go to our website. That's WDEF.com. Look for the Golden Apple section and simply fill out the form. Boyd Buchanan's football coach has resigned. Here's Rick Nyman from the Armor Exterior Sports Desk. Plus, what's the personality of the Vols baseball team going to look like this season? And the Vols basketball team awaits their rematch with Kentucky tonight. Five out of five stars and customer satisfaction is one reason more and more people choose Village Volkswagen. From certified pre-owned to a wide variety of quality inspected cars, trucks, SUVs, and crossovers, no one will work harder to win your business than Village VW. Finally, affordable bath and showers for everyone. With Durante's 21st anniversary sale, you can save money while transforming your old outdated bath to a new beautiful bath by Durante Bath and Showers. Save 10% off your purchase plus payments as low as $79 a month. Durante is celebrating 21 years in the business, and we want you to celebrate with great savings on your new luxury bath. Call or click today for your free estimate. Durante Home Exteriors, local professionals you've trusted for years. For 12 years in a row, you have voted Chattanooga Allergy Clinic the best allergist in the Chattanooga area. With over 45 years of experience, our team of specialists have taken care of over 100,000 patients. Providing innovative allergy care, 
for children and adults of all ages. Being named the best is more than just an honor. It's part of who we are, a team of professionals. Dedicated to providing state-of-the-art, personalized care for asthma, allergies, and immunodeficiency. Thank you for this honor and for trusting us to help you live life to the fullest. I was badly hurt when a crazed driver crashed into my car. He admitted to using heroin, and yet the insurance company still refused to pay. Warren and Griffin is the five-star law firm that got me a seven-figure settlement without going to court. Hi, I'm Shane Ransom, master shingle applicator and owner of Ransom Roofing. If you want a free roof estimate, call 423-595-3595 or visit RansomRoofing.com. Five out of five stars in customer satisfaction is one reason more and more people choose Village Volkswagen. From certified pre-owned to a wide variety of quality inspected cars, trucks, SUVs, and crossovers, no one will work harder to win your business than Village VW. Each year, we celebrate the highest office in the land with a sale. It's called President's Day, and Bassett Chattanooga is extending executive savings in powerful terms to you, the people. Right now, shop sofas, sectionals, and bedroom furniture throughout the store. Make your selection and save 30% off the ticket price. Then take up to 36 months to pay, interest-free. You don't have to be CEO of the USA to SAVE. So get to Bassett Chattanooga today at the Gun Barrel entrance to Hamilton Place. Winter weather hits. You need a team you can trust. A team with passion, knowledge, and experience. A team giving you accurate information. When it's winter weather, experience matters. Storm Team 12. Now, scores and highlights from the Armor Exterior Sports Desk. It's round two for the Vols and Cats tonight in Knoxville. Tennessee hoping to make amends for that first meeting in Lexington. Big Blue Blast of the Big Orange, 107-79. By what was your reaction when you left Rupp Arena last month and Kentucky won by a wide margin? Yeah, I was hurt. Everybody was. I was really just sick to my stomach, but credit to them. They played a really good game. Um, but, yeah, I was just um, – it was tough. Can't take anything away from Kentucky, but the way we turned the ball over and allowed them to score, what, 30-some points off turnovers. I mean, you're not going to win basketball games at any anywhere doing that. Since that loss to Kentucky, the Vols are undefeated in SEC play, winning seven straight league games. But I feel like since then we've we've really, really um, have come a long way. Uh, we've I, I feel like the team that we have now is night and day um, compared to the team then. Now their personnel has changed a little bit. Uh, they're probably more biz bigger and more physical than they were in their first game. So we got to be prepared for that. Maybe the bigger physical Vols will have better luck defending Oscar Sheboy. He had 12 rebounds against Tennessee last month. You can't talk about National Player of the Year without talking about him. The numbers that he's put up is incredible. And uh, the consistency in which he's done it with and the fact that he does it when every coach goes in the game trying to figure out what can we do to slow that down. Rocky Top will be rocking for the fourth-ranked Wildcats. We know we're going into a hostile environment, but we go into a hostile environment every game we play. Uh, the one thing Cal says that is true that I've learned since I've been there, that we are everybody's Super Bowl. If I'm those guys, I, I remember that we lost by 30 and they scored 100 points against us. So I'm sure uh, that the guys here know that, and we got, we got to be ready for it. If not, they're going to try to do the same thing to us. Let's hope so. Late tip on Rocky Top, 9 o'clock. Cats could be without Ty Ty Washington, who has an ankle injury. He missed Kentucky's last game Saturday with Florida. Boyd Buchanan head football coach Jeremy Boskin has resigned. He's leaving the Bucks to take the head coaching job at Tri-Cities Christian Academy. It's an opportunity for Boskin to move closer to home. The Bucks were 0-10 before Boskin arrived, and he managed to take Boyd to the playoffs in each of his three seasons with the team. Balls baseball opens their new season Friday. Tennessee coming off that World Series appearance last year. So will this year's team feature a different personality? No, I think there's a new personality. Uh, same same brand name. So I don't know if it's, you know, quite like Breyer's ice cream and, and you know, you got French vanilla and chocolate. It's, it's in the same family, um, but they, they've got their own flavor as, as far as how they like to do things. What's the flavor of weather, Becca? 
Well, we have a pretty good Wednesday in store for us, much like today, but we'll throw in a few more clouds. We do have rain returning Thursday evening and night, but that clears out drier for the weekend, guys. So maybe chocolate? I was <laughs> thinking, I don't know what kind of flavor. Sunshine and rain. Mint yeah. chocolate chip. <laughs> At Wedemark Keith, we have seen just about every on-the-job injury that you can imagine. Textile mills, factories, railroad incidents, oil rig accidents. We have the answers. Please give us a call today. Wedemark Keith, the name you know and trust. Does your home need new siding? Let us guide you through the process of re-siding your home. Call us. News 12 now, local headlines from EPB. Hello everybody, here's a look at what's making headlines for you right now. Today marks the 20th anniversary of the Tri-State Crematory Scandal. In early 2002, more than 300 uncremated bodies were found on the property of Tri-State Crematory in Noble, Georgia. It made international headlines and to this day it's unclear exactly why those bodies were left uncremated. That question has never been answered. Uh, the Tri-State Crematory was an operation, a business that had been um, in the business of cremating remains uh, primarily for funeral homes in the southeastern United States, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, uh, for a number of years. Ray Marsh, who was operating the crematory at the time, was charged with numerous counts and served 12 years in prison. He got out in 2016 and since rejoined the community in Walker County. Drug overdose deaths are leading headlines again as the Chattanooga Police Department releases startling numbers. Now, police are reporting 10 drug overdose deaths in the scenic city in just the last couple of weeks. They're attributing this to the increased use of fentanyl to the illegal drug manufacturers that are putting them in everyday drugs. Fentanyl is 100 times more potent than morphine. It's part of an overall nationwide trend that we're still seeing uh, with overdose deaths and, and fentanyl being related uh, to those. And Chattanooga is no different. It's just we've seen quite a spike uh, in the last week and a half. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling with drug addiction, police urge you to reach out to the Hamilton County Coalition. More information can be found at hccoalition.org. We do thank you for joining us for your News 12 Now headlines. We'll be back in 60 seconds.